Um, I started in Afghania in 87 when I realized uh, and heard the companies talk about genetic engineering seed, patenting seed, and having global control through the World Trade Organization Intellectual Property Rights Agreement. But what we found a few years ago, and I experienced this in India in 2004, with a seed law that would make local seed illegal, that would make millets illegal, that would make farmers' varieties illegal. Three years ago, this started to be introduced all over the world. We stopped it in India through Beat Satyagraha. And I took 100,000 signatures to the Prime Minister to say we live in the land of Gandhi. He did a salt Satyagraha, we are doing a Beat Satyagraha. So you can pass any law you want. We're going to save our seeds because that's a higher duty. In the last year, the seed freedom movement has stopped the criminalization of biodiversity and farmers' varieties across Europe, across large parts of Latin America, Canada. Now in the United States, heritage seeds are being made illegal. Um, in um, Africa, we are helping movements. And the Seed Fed, uh, Freedom Declaration is a declaration just that brings people together. Because there are two ways of organizing society. One is top-down through control, which is what the industry is seeking. And the other is, like the seeds grow, you grow a seed, it multiplies on its own, it reproduces, and it is shared. So the Seed Freedom Declaration is a seed of a movement, just on the fundamental principles of our relationship with the seed and the earth, our duties and our rights that go with it. And people can visit the seedfreedom.in website to become part of the movement.